I decided very early on I wanted to be a film director um, when I was about 13 years of age. My mum bought me a Super 8 camera and I persisted making films with my little brother, Andrew. And eventually I made a 16mm movie uh, which I wrote and directed called When I Was a Girl. And um, it, it won all these prizes at various film festivals. That got me into film school. And at film school I kind of learnt a bit about the craft. But it was really the short film that did it for me. The BBC bought it and put it on telly. And then on, on the back of that short film I got offered television work. It used to be quite um, clearly defined. You worked in film or you worked in television. I think now the crossover is much, much easier. Uh, and actually you get fantastic material in, mm. in television with fantastic talent uh, in just the same way you do in film. In this day and age with um, digital technology, it's so easy to make films. When you were doing it, yeah. you had to buy film, you had yeah. to get it processed, it's hard to um, deliver a soundtrack, where now with a, with a Mac and an iPhone, just about, you can do anything. Uh, and so if it doesn't work first time, try again. Very too important. many people are too embarrassed to say they don't know, but actually I still, there are lots of things I don't know. Uh, and the first thing you say is, I don't know, and then someone tells you, or you find out together with a group of people who also yeah. don't know. The best advice to build a career in this industry is to appreciate at a very early stage that it's about being knocked back and about being rejected and about numerous hurdles that will be placed in front of you and those hurdles will never stop coming. If at first you don't succeed, try again. Yeah. It's the people you choose to work with that's so important. I've been very blessed in my career to work with people like David, producers who support you, encourage you, challenge you in the best way.